How you doing? Well, the first place, um, I mean, since it's the most obvious, is the pillow, pillow case, because that's right there. Then there's also the headboard. If you have a headboard, that's almost a number one place. Uh, I've seen them at the foot of the bed also. Uh, and that's because of the foot odor is actually an attractant to bed bugs too. Uh, around the seams of the mattress, if you don't have a mattress encasement on, then you can look between the mattress and the box spring to see if anyone's living in there. The frame of it, you'd have to take, uh, it's, it's involved with labor to, to remove all these parts of your bed if you really wanna do an extensive examination. And if you store things under your bed, the stored boxes and things are also a prime area to look for bed bugs because it's a good harborage area for bed bugs. So there's many places you can find them, even though it's not in the bed. In fact, if you sleep more on your couch, they're going to be on the couch and in the couch. They can be in um, furniture that's nearby the bed wall hangings, pictures, posters, things like that. They might be even in hinges on a door. They've been found in smoke alarms, chandeliers, you know, on the ceiling, uh, almost any place you can think of. And if you're in an apartment situation, it's very possible they've come from adjoining apartments too. And that means adjoining apartments should be examined for bed bug infestations. And then a treatment can be undertaken, not only in your apartment, because that would be sort of uh, fighting a losing battle because they're actually coming from adjoining apartments and they will continue to do so unless you can totally isolate your apartment from everything else. And that can be done if everything is caulked, sealed, and you're creating a bubble in your apartment. 